Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Mike Bell. This is a Practical Training Professionals. Today we are going to be doing a disassembly and a reassembly on this. This is the SIG MPX chambered in 9mm carbine. Um, yeah, with that, let's go ahead and get right into it. So as I said guys, today we're going to be doing the disassembly reassembly on the SIG MPX 9mm. Uh, we just put about a thousand rounds of this on the range uh, over the past couple days. We're going to go ahead and tear this thing down, put it back together, and then we'll do another video on cleaning this thing up. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to the channel to see that. So first things first, you got to make sure that you extend the brace. Walk that brace all the way out, you will not be able to separate the upper receiver from the lower receiver if you don't slide the brace back. It's at this point, uh, as always, before you do anything on a firearm, you want to go ahead and remove that magazine. Make sure that we're good there. And we want to go ahead and inspect the chamber and do a function check here, right? Always better to be safe than sorry. And uh, we are empty. So it's at that point we're ready to go ahead and separate the upper receiver from the lower receiver. I always like to start by starting the forward pin and the rear pin and getting those things ready to come out. Go ahead and flip this thing over, start with the rear pin, and then remove the four pin. You've just effectively separated the upper receiver from the lower receiver. Now, at this point, this is about as far down as I'm going to break down the lower receiver. Um, you could always, at this point, right, you can clean, you could jump in there, you could clean this trigger assembly. All right, all that stuff, you're gonna wanna do all that. You're gonna want this trigger nice and clean. Make sure you're doing a functions check on the bolt release and the mag release at this point. Um, again, uh, for anybody who's not familiar with the piston driven system, uh, this is the just the stop for the piston. You will not see the buffer tube in here that you would see with the gas impingement uh, rifle or um, anything of that nature. So let's go ahead and set this lower aside. All right, so here we have the upper. First things first here, again, and just for so you guys know, we do have this outfitted with the SIG Romeo 7 Optic. It does come standard with forward and rear sights. And we have this with the Streamlight um, Tac Pro on here. Uh, yep, what is this one? This is the Rail Mount 2 ProTac, all right? So go ahead and, uh, you could go ahead and remove the foreguard at that point. We'll just set that aside right here. Um, and you could remove the muzzle brake, but we'll get into that in a second. What we're doing today is fill dressing for cleaning. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this charging handle back at that point, remove the bolt carrier group, and remove the charging handle. All right, and we'll set this upper right up here. Now, um, at this point, you could really get in here with your COP and you could do a lot of cleaning on this bolt carrier group. I like to take it one step further. So I'm gonna show you guys today actually how to break down this bolt carrier group so you could really get it cleaned out. All right, first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove this carter pin here. That's a keeper pin that holds your firing pin in place. So we'll go ahead and start there. Remove this. There's your, there's your keeper pin, all right? Now, if you'll look on the bottom, that released the firing pin, which is right here. And then there's a firing pin spring right here. Now, where some people are challenged on this, uh, on a gas impingement system, you won't have this big, these big piston springs here. You're not gonna have that. Uh, so anybody who's not familiar with the piston system, you might run into some, you know, be a little bit sketched out right here. But what you wanna do is you wanna remove this keeper. All right, this keeper is what holds everything in place and allows the bolt to rotate in the bolt carrier group, which is awesome. And that's how it works, the ejection and everything else is with this rotating bolt carrier group, okay? So on, the, on this keeper, there are two indicator pins. There's one on the keeper pin itself and the one on the bolt carrier. We wanna go ahead and rotate this thing 90 degrees counterclockwise. And this could be somewhat of a challenge if your gun's gunked, gunked up like ours. So we're gonna go ahead and rotate that. Um, right there, you'll see if we can get you zoomed in on that. Uh, 
you'll see that we've rotated this thing 90 degrees. So the indicator pin is facing in the aft direction toward the rear of the firearm. At that point, we could go ahead and pull that pin out. And again, this is where you're gonna run into a little bit of trouble when it starts rubbing on this piston spring here. But you could, on, you could kind of just manipulate that with your fingers and go ahead and get that out. So once that's out, we can go ahead and remove our bolt. There's our bolt. We will not be taking the bolt down any farther than that with the extractor or anything. That is as far as you will need to take this down. Uh, so it's at that point you can clean all this and get it good to go. Um, so let's go ahead and start right there with putting it back together. Oh, you know what? Um, let's talk about this. You could go ahead and remove this muzzle brake if you want to, to clean out around there. There, are, there is gonna be some carbon discharging from there. Um, you can remove all this. Uh, it's at, right here, if you wanted to go ahead and get this barrel out, you move these two bolts here. These are T, uh, Torx T25s. Those will be able to come out and you'll be able to really get in this upper and clean it out. Uh, we're not gonna go that detail today. We're just gonna field strip this thing and get it ready to go. So let's go ahead and drop the muzzle brake back on. And that lines up on these, um, I just wanna make sure you guys can see it. There are indicator tabs here. And then there's some on the underside of the rifle as well. So those things will just slide right on, right in place. Nothing crazy there. Put the muzzle brake back on. Nice and tight. Go ahead and attach the forward guard. Um, there are two sliding tracks here, or one on this side, one on this side, that uh, will receive the foreguard. Just like so. We're gonna go ahead and sit this thing ahead of us, put this bolt back together. Now, we understand that this hole right here has to receive this keeper pin. So we're gonna keep this hole facing toward the left-hand side of the firearm. We're gonna drop that bolt right back in there and make sure we're lined up. We're gonna take the, the pin and we're gonna remember that the indicator has to point toward the aft of the firearm. We're gonna go ahead and drop that pin in there. Again, it's just as touchy coming out as it was going in or going in as it was coming out rather. So you're gonna have to finagle it. I have taken this thing apart. There's no easy way to do it. You just kind of ram it in there. Once you have it in there, you wanna rotate it again 90 degrees to where the indicator pin matches up with the pin uh, with the indicator on the bolt carrier. We wanna go ahead and take our retaining spring, our firing pin retaining spring, our firing, firing pin spring, drop it in there. We're gonna take our firing pin, drop it in there. Um, be careful, you don't wanna push and jam on anything really too hard right there, but you do wanna make sure that you get your firing pin in. Now it will stick out a little bit proud of the bolt carrier right here. That's fine, we're gonna get into that in just a second, um, right now. So this is what I do, once you've got that in there, you wanna take your, you wanna take your firing pin retention pin and go ahead and set it in there, get it halfway kind of started, all right? Then you wanna, I hold this thing with my left hand. I go ahead and I take this. I push the firing pin down. And then I slide the keeper pin in with my left hand, all right, with my thumb. And then once you release it, you're good to go. Now here you wanna do a function check. Now I actually wanna show you guys this again, uh, just to make sure that you, you, you caught on the first time, all right? Um, so that way you don't have to rewind it and everything else, right? So first thing you wanna do is remove this uh, keeper pin. Pop that thing out, too easy. All right, sit that down. Next comes a firing pin and the firing pin spring. Sometimes they come out at the same time, just like that. Then you wanna remove, uh, you wanna, this keeper pin, rotate it to the, toward the aft of the firearm. Again, you wanna pull that thing out. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt. All right, it's out. Bolt will slide out at that point, right? Clean it, make, inspect it, put it back in, make sure your holes line up. We're gonna go ahead and take this thing again, make sure that that indicator dot, and you will see it, uh, faces toward the after the firearm. It's just as much a pain in the butt putting it in sometimes as it is taking it out. So you really just wanna work it, make sure it's in there. Once it, once it drops in, rotate it again 90 degrees, make sure that the indicator dots match up. You're good to go there. Uh, you could drop in your spring or uh, individually or with the firing pin attached. Just drop the spring in, drop the firing pin in, right? Now, 
putting a keeper pin in, sometimes it's a bit of a challenge. Go ahead and start it. I like to depress the firing pin. Oh, I depressed it a little too soon right there. So we're going to go ahead and start it and depress it. There we go. Now she's held in place. You're good to go. So again, you'll notice that the firing pin is a little bit proud, but just a little bit. All right. Now function check right there. Make sure it's moving. It does have the rotating bolt. That's how it works. That's how it operates. That's how it extracts and throws that shell outside of the uh, ejection port. Everything else is good there, all right? So, next thing you wanna do, take your charging handle, start it. This is all very similar to what you would do with an AR, if you're familiar with that. Once you get that started, take your bolt carrier group. Uh, I like to make sure that the star, the ejector is always forward. Just like that, all right? Now that that's done, we want to go ahead and take our lower receiver. I always start with the front pin. Line that up. Get that started. Bring this home. Now, you do need to make sure that your the piston action is forward and then it will slide down. Just like that. Once you're there, go ahead and put in the rear, the rear pin and you're good. Um, you can check your brace, slide it forward if you like and then do a function check on the rifle. And if you've done everything right, uh, you didn't mess up the trigger or anything, again, point it in a safe direction, squeeze that trigger, function check, squeeze the trigger, charge it, throw it on safe, and we are going to put the magazine back in. There you go. That is a disassembly and a reassembly of the SIG MPX chambered in nine millimeter carbine. Too easy, guys. All right, like I said, that is the disassembly and the reassembly of the SIG MPX chambered in 9mm carbine. Uh, we really like this. We love shooting it. You can tell by how beat up it is. Uh, this gun is very versatile. We don't have any problems with this firearm. We love it. Um, if you'd like to see more of this, if you want to see us actually do the cleaning video, um, you're going to have to hit that subscribe button, guys. That way you're getting alerted whenever new videos come out. Um, and with that, as always, learn, defend, prevail. We're out.